hello and welcome to my channel I'm just doing um, a little uh, shop with me I've just arrived at Macquarie Shopping Centre and I've got a few things on my list that I want to have a look at um, I'm looking for cushions outdoor cushions for the outdoor area that we gave a quick refresh to at the weekend I'm looking for a little Christmas outfit for my great niece which I need to send back to the UK ASAP and uh, obviously I'm just going to have a look at a few of the shops while I'm here see if there's any more spring summer clothes come in that might take my eye so I thought you might like to tag along so here we go so this is the entrance I like to use we've got H&M on my right Zara on my left which means I can just bob into those two shops and not worry about going through the rest of the centre first stop witchery but basically I'd seen everything in there already into H&M, um, a little brighter colours with um, some blues and pinks but I have seen most of it before and then onto the swimwear which I actually quite liked a lot and did make a quick purchase that you will see at the end of the video but some cute items quick outfit of the day Next stop was Seed and once again just really disappointing, um, yes it's a transition part of the season but I um, have a little bit of linen there but everything is dark, I, I know Leopard is a, is a neutral these days but it still strikes me as a little bit dark, um, he's just got some nicer more silvery blues which are a very pretty colour but still very muted and then a nice silvery outfit which is about my favourite thing I saw in the shop. Now we're into Zara and again I don't know why it just seemed more wintry today than it did when I was in a few weeks ago. Um, everything is very muted, very autumnal, um, lots of khaki, lots of black and brown and navy blue. Um, they are linen dresses there but still and this is our first little glimpse of summer um, if you're into the more lavender hues um, some nice pieces there but yeah I'm still waiting I think this was the favorite thing I saw all day if I'm honest um, whether you'll see me in it maybe not yeah no <laughs> um, yeah, a few. I do like the lemon actually. I think that was quite nice. I did like that blouse, so you never know. Um, the trousers I think might be a stretch too far, but I did like the blouse. I did actually like that, but they were full on pajamas, so I'm not sure I can go that far. This green I really liked, um, a really nice emerald green, but then we go straight into a bottle green which I still don't think is right for the season. Um, and this, the leather look, yeah, I just cannot see me wearing that in 40 degree heat, if I'm honest. Lots of black, again, that's fine. Um, I didn't mind this dress, it wouldn't suit me. Uh, but it is that sort of thing you can just sling on and it will take you from doing shops onto the beach, that kind of thing. I did try on these trousers, jeans, sorry. Um, I'm right in the middle of the sizes for these. The 42 on me were okay um, and the 44 were fit nicely on the day but you just know they're going to be huge by the time you finished wearing them. Um, but I did quite like the design, moving away a little bit from the skinny leg, which I've been wearing for a long time. Um, yeah, so I quite like those, but I didn't get them. I'm going to just keep hanging on a little bit, I think.
talking to David Jones now and uh, just more of the same really, lots of what I would call more autumnal colours coming in, um, some pretty dresses, none of which would fit me unfortunately, and yet we've still got shirling jackets and puffer jackets, um, not sure what's going on, um, this coral and pink seems to be out and about a little bit at the moment, did like that dress, again unfortunately not for me. Uh, Country Road still got the great big jumpers in. Um, I do like this corally pink um, linen suit with that blouse. I think that could be a really nice um, outfit for something special. And they have their usual linen t-shirt, linen look um, t-shirts which always go well, good staple. As usual a lot of overly branded things, this t-shirt for example. Um, and then we go into swimwear, very, very dark, um, obviously struggling to get stock, I'm guessing. Um, nothing really here that caught my eye. The Amber Skeets jewellery, I really like her stuff. And if you go at the moment, it's got 20% off at David Jones, so worth keeping in mind. Oh, look at that, didn't mean to do that, but yep, I do really like my sandals. And we've just hopped over to Maya. I'm looking for summer PJs at the moment. Um, again, stock levels seem to be just very, very, very low. We've still got winter stock out there um, and not much of it. Just not what I'm looking for at all, unfortunately. Hi, well I'm back home now. Um, that was a really disappointing shopping trip. Um, I felt like nearly everything was still very winter focused. Some things are coming through but it really is dribs and drabs. I didn't get the cushions I wanted for outside, didn't get the Christmas outfit I wanted for my, uh, my great niece. So strike out really. Um, I will show you the couple of things I bought, um, but nothing was what I planned. So yeah, I'll just have to go back. Um, but hey, the coffee was good. So here are the few things that I bought. So I got this white short sleeved blouse. It's got a cute little um, puff sleeve, which looks really cute on. Uh, it's quite wide at the bottom, nice and floaty. It'll be lovely on a hot day. It's quite a nice fabric. And then I really didn't go looking for this, but you know, you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. So this is H&M as well. It's a swimming costume. Um, it's got quite a nice thick strap, which is quite good if you have a bigger bust. Um, it's got the little tie here, and it's even got like a little panel that runs across the top of the tummy, which is quite flattering. It's a reasonably high leg, but not too bad. And then the back, if you can see, has a square cut at the back which is quite different and looks really quite nice so I think that was ooh, that was about $40 yeah so I mean it's really good um, first world problems but if you have a pool and you're swimming a lot in your pool I don't like uh, buying the expensive costumes because the chlorine just eats them up and they don't last so you can have these for a season put them in the bin yeah I know but it's it's much easier than having to throw away something that's cost you $250 so my last piece is this utility jacket which I have actually sort of been looking at and I was looking at the cream one and then I saw this and it was $15 and I like a bargain. So I decided to go for it. I think it'll be fine with jeans and lots of my other trousers. It actually looked nice with my outfit. These are the Zara joggers that I'm wearing, um, just with a black top and the, the jacket looked really nice on with those. My coffee machine just turning itself off on its own. Um, 
so anyway, I'm very pleased with the, uh, with the jacket for $15. I'm sure I'll use it quite a lot over the summer. So I hope you've enjoyed um, the come along and shop with me and I will um, talk to you later. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But until then, I shall say cheerio and speak to you next time. Bye.